I built this birdhouse thinking that American robins may use it. And afterward, I thought it's probably not big enough for American robins. But uh, Carolina wrens, it turns out, likes to build nests in all kinds of random corners and boots, grills, and flower pots, you name it. So it turns out this was a perfect house for them. That house I mounted under the back deck. And here are the two Carolina wren parents up on top of the deck getting some sunflower seeds and mealworms. It's only the male that sings like this. In the middle of March, the female started checking out this house and even spent a couple of nights in there sheltering from storms. Um, but by the middle of April, she had built a finished nest and uh, Carolina wren nests aren't open like uh, other bird nests. So there's only like a little small hole that goes into the interior. Toward the end of April, she laid five eggs, one egg per day. Thirteen days after the eggs were laid, the first of the eggs hatched. And then on the 14th day, the rest of the eggs hatched. Immediately after the eggs hatched, both parents were bringing bugs as fast as they could. I mean, there were worms, beetles, cicadas, and it was amazing how big some of these bugs were compared to the size of the babies. With the constant stream of bugs that these babies were eating, they grew really fast. In only 14 days after the first egg hatched, all five of the babies fledged the nest.